on this webisode of Mythbusters. Medic! Cary Grant and Tori test the myth that you can jumpstart your car with a defibrillator. Our intrepid trio of untrained medics have already proved that a jump start to your heart can cause your piercing to spark. Clear. And your bra to burn. Ooh, oh, spark hey. flu. Oh, we gotta burn. <gasps> but the fans want to know what would happen if it wasn't your heart that needed a start, but your car. I love the absurdity of all this. My car's dead. Medic! The guys are using this old jalopy as their test subject, but despite its appearance, it does work. All right, she started. But will the myth? I can see potentially why someone might think that this would be a good idea, but I predict we'll have destruction of the battery and possible explosion and fire. Why would it explode? We're subjecting that 12 volt battery and all the chemicals inside of it to several thousand volts so okay yeah. well, when you put it that way <laughs> and with those kind of predictions carrie has an eye on safety safety as always is a concern for us and since we're putting 4,000 volts into a system that's usually used to 12 volts we've taken the key to the car and clamped it in the go position rather than say having me sit here on a wet seat full of metal coils that could ground out and uh, well you know kill me are we ready to start the car we're ready to try if you have faith defibrillator right. jump start woo all right charging in three two one clear no explosion no fire and the engine didn't even turn over I was pretty <laughs> anticlimactic. Should that we, car's not starting. Should we, should we give it another jump? Give it another one. Sure. Maybe we'll be able to turn it over with this one. And clear. Not even a spark. I thought there'd be at least a spark or something. So it's an underwhelming result. But what's really going on? Well, there are two possibilities. Um, one is that we fried the charging system. Well, you know what? We don't even know if this charge made it to the battery. So that could be another reason why this thing didn't start. And yeah, that's the second possibility is maybe there's something wrong with the defibrillator. So I propose what we do is bring in another vehicle, try starting the car the regular way, and see if it starts up. To check option one, a fried starter system, the team use a second car with regular jumper cables. All right, get ready. Okay, I'm gonna try starting it. Is it starting? I got nothing, it's not turning over at all. I can hear the solenoids clicking, but uh, you need more than that to start an engine. Yep, before it's brushed with the defibrillator, the car started, which means... I don't know, it looks like the defibrillator killed the starter motor. So if that's the case, this is a horrible way to jumpstart your car. Yeah, not recommended in the service manual and not recommended by Mythbusters. <laughs>